what's good people the reason i have bags under my eyes and stuff is 5 a.m i'm on three hours sleep but the reason i'm up right now is because it is body power weekend and if you don't know i am based in uh, central scotland so uh birmingham is a five hour drive so we're going to go there going to pick up a few people and we're going to make sure the day is a good day we're just going down for today because we've all got shit to do tomorrow so that is why we're going to do five hours there, be at the expo all day, five hours back and I'm driving. Why am I driving? Because it was me or Dylan driving and if Dylan drove, I feel like he probably would fall asleep and this vlog would never go up because I would be dead and we don't want that. So that's what's going to happen. I'll put in some like travel footage possibly, maybe, probably not. We'll see and then make a shitty little intro mad vlog thing. But... Yeah, that's pretty much the situation, that's what's happening, and I'll try and get as much footage as I can, and I'll see you in a little. Is waiting until they shut it and then sneak it in. 
because we only had to wait 10 minutes to see Christian and Max, whereas people were queuing for 2 hours. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much ideal. That's called being time efficient. So with the dates, and I'm just going to ask, what advice would you have for a first time when to take a bed Really easy guys, stick to the basics. Lift it heavy, eat a lot of protein and sleeping a lot. A lot of people, they want to make it more complicated than it is. Do those three things consistently and you'll be one of the best. And you're here now, guy who's finished taking multiple things, so yeah, I think he knows what he's talking about. Thank fuck I'm home. So this is the best part of the trip. Yeah, so. It's, um, I've drove for like 12 hours today. I've uh, covered nearly a thousand miles. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm pretty fucking tired. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Um, I'm not going to give it a few right now because I'm just too fucking tired. I'm going to go to sleep. But I'll do one tomorrow. This video will be up on Sunday. And oh, this is Saturday night, 12 o'clock. Had a 20 hour day as well because that makes everything fucking better. So we'll fucking give a full review in the morning, but thanks for tuning in, and if you care about the review then please stay. What's good people, it's the day after, and as you saw last night I was fucking tired, but after all that happened yesterday, that was expected. Um, I slept for 13 hours, which uh, tells you how tired I actually was. Anyway, basically a quick little review. We went to Saturday this year, last year I went to Saturday and Sunday, but we fitted it into one day, like I said, we've got stuff to do today. But, yeah, it was a bit, I feel like it was busier this year, even without Gymshark and that, than it was last year. Like, it was pretty hard to, like, just move around. So, if I was going back next year, but seemingly they're changing the whole structure of it next year, so I don't actually know what's happening, I'd go the Friday where it was less busy. But, yeah, overall it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, there's a few people, like, you get a vibe of some people um, that they just don't want to be there, like the top end, like Instagram over 1 million type followers and you can tell they just they don't want to be there but like Christian, Christian genuinely seemed grateful for people there like he had his lunch at 4 o'clock and we met him at 10 to 4 and he was still taking photos, still trying to get it all in obviously you can't have a full on conversation because if he did then he would be there literally all day but he genu genuinely seemed pretty, pretty down to earth and like a genuine person, which I genuinely thought, I say genuinely quite a lot there, haven't I? Oh well. Um, I was surprised by it, but I'm glad he is, rather than him being like a stuck up prick, like some of the top end Instagram people. Uh, yeah. Sadiq, Sadiq surprised me. Last year I kind of got the vibe that he's a bit of an ignorant bastard, but... Uh, this year I was talking away to him, I got a little clip on my video which you've what I saw but I was talking away to him for about 10-15 minutes just chilling just what's happening and that genuinely surprised me uh, Jason Poston, I tried to get a clip of him on my camera but he was like nah I've over overran for 30 minutes so I mean I get that, I mean I do get that because he's been there all day doesn't, he's been talking to people all day and I can't really fault that but it would have been nice to get a little clip you know um, pretty much don't know what else to give a little review upon um, yeah it was good I'd go again uh, the Gymshark pop up we were thinking about going to the Gymshark pop up but then we saw like the severity of it and we knew, like, we knew it would be busy don't get me wrong but people waiting 6 hours and stuff like, don't, no chance. I'm never going to wait six hours to meet anyone. That's personal me. If you want to do that, fair enough. You, It's your time. But I just feel that no one's worth waiting six hours for, in my personal opinion. The longest I waited to meet someone was 25 minutes, which even then is a bit on the long side for me, but it is what it is. Got got a few freebies as well um like free tops free samples i'm not going to run out of protein samples for the next month uh, a couple hats but uh, bodybuilding.com they were giving out a lot a lot a lot of free stuff so i just can imagine the line was too long and i mean free stuff is always good but if you have to wait over an hour to get the free stuff like a t-shirt a protein shaker um a couple of, like fucking magazines then that ain't for me but if you enjoyed the video, 
then please like. If you did not, then don't. It's pretty that much fucking simple. And I just mucked up the awards, but we do this on a one take, so. Um, hope if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you're not, then thanks for watching and your continued support. And we are out of here.